there's really no predicting. Anyway, on the red team, we have uh, Infinity Omelet Spire with some giant name. I'm not yeah, even give gonna, up. I'm not even going to try that. Sure, um, jerk. Can this, is a, this is, of course, a Spire with a Huacha on the front, a Gatling, a Banshee, and an Artemis. Uh, also on the red team, we have Nietzsche's Mustache piloting the some Spunk Monk. With a carinade in the front, a carinade and a mine on the right, and a carinade on the mine on the left. Uh, now take it away with the blue team. Okay, blue team. First we have Dementios the Great VGS, which is a spire. It's a watch spire with a Hades, carinade, and flamer, which I actually really like. And the mixed coat L, piloted by Arius, and that also looks like a monker, with... Um, Two bottom deck mines, two top deck banshees, and a front deck Artemis, which I actually really like as a loadout for a monker. So this is interesting. We have we have two monkers. I am so excited, and it looks like the first shots are already kind of being fired here. It's interesting that they both have an Artemis on the front. Oh no, there's a Karenid on the front of Mustache's ship, and that that's actually a lot more like him. He he's a big balloon popper. I guess it makes it a lot easier to shoot the mines, to shoot them down so that they can't rise up, because then you're pinning them between the floor and your mines, which is not a fun place to be. I think the big <laughs> point in this match, though, is the fact that spires are being taken in a competitive match. Uh, they're usually uh, so squishy and often so easy to kill. It's uh, quite refreshing to actually see them used competitively outside of the... or when it's not actually required. Well, and here it works really well because there are, you know, um, spires are pretty strong against, uh, or at least watches are. Watch spires are really strong against junkers usually, and the only other threat is another spire. So despite their squishiness, they're really well matched up because they're taking very similar builds here. And they're very interesting builds too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's hitting pretty hard. It's not bad accuracy. I find it quite refreshing to see some of these non-meta builds. Mm -hmm. At least competitively non-meta. Oh no, all of that went into the balloon. They broke the Artemis, which is nice, because it means that their watch is not going to go out. But See, my worry here is that they're going to play this sort of cat and mouse game with a building between them, and then after a while, the longer this goes, the less possible it's going to be for a forward engagement because there's so many mines in between them. Like, no one can push forward. But as soon as someone does, the mines will eat them alive. Watch it going to oh, the great oh. VGS, taking down the armor. We got, and we got doing a lot, a lot of damage. Perma perma health, uh, bring ooh, it down to ooh, about is it going to happen? <clears throat> yeah, these watches. Although that can turn around quickly. Oh, and here comes the Munker. Okay, things are happening. This is awesome. So this is ex that was exactly the oh, reason yeah. Spires aren't used very much. They're just uh, so easy to do to deal a lot of damage too quickly. Oh, that mine actually maybe even worked in their favor because now they're facing right at the Spire. Oh no, are they going to bump? No, they got it. They got it off. Nope, <laughs> another mine hit. That's so uncomfortable. Oh man, I hate being in fights like this. I mean, they're very enjoyable, but they're just so... They can turn around so quickly. Don't bump that wall. Nice. Red Spire losing their own armor. Not taking too much perma, perma damage. Mm, yeah. Looks like the gunner is hitting that. What ammo types does he have? Spunk Monk gets hit by a mine, and all of a sudden, almost everything is on fire. Oh, and now, well, now everything's broken. So, that's nice. Uh, wow, VGS they are is balloon broken and armor broken. And there's the first kill for Clan Clan. Uh, Mixcodal is also missing their armor. Bring it up just in time. And there goes the second kill. So just like that, Clan Clan has a 2-0 lead over the fancy Maynard Riders. That really felt well fought all around. The Huachas are just brutal against both ships. Because Spires are pretty easy to hit, and Junkers, you can hit everything with the Huacha. It doesn't matter what side you're on. We'll see. And they took pretty minimal damage all around, so 
they can easily engage in another fight without much to worry about. Especially if it goes like that and they have their armor up the whole time. It's a pretty strong position for them. Spots coming out on the great VGS as they spawn. And while the blue team does see the red team, they have not uh, spotted yet. Okay, that spots up. <laughs> the spires are both spotted. It's going to be another brutal watch engagement. Unless, oh, okay. Artemis is coming into play. It, it wasn't used very much in the last one. I was kind of thinking that the Munker would go for Disable on the enemy Artemis, or not the, the enemy Huacha, so that they could give their Spire an advantage over the other one, but it just didn't really happen. I don't think it was, you know, a lack of planning or skill, it's just these fights are so rough and very consuming, especially with all the mines and you're spinning all over the place. But here we have a nice double engagement. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Spunk Monk just took a hit there, but it, it got pretty low pretty quickly. And it's doing a good job of wearing away at VGS's balloon. Oh no! Wow! Mixcoat is fighting back the Watcha's fire. I guess they didn't get enough out with the uh, Watcha there. I thought they would fully disable them. There goes an armor drop and it's a first kill for the blue team. On wow! The spire. That was well played. And look, There's Spunk a Watcha Monk. into the Spunk Monk, disabling all their guns as well as an engine. Their balloon is on heavy is it on heavy fire. And yeah, I drop in a second. There it is. Oh boy! I think the chance Spunk Monk has here is if they can get their balloon up and pop VGS's balloon, they'll be in bad shape because with all the mines and a lacking balloon, it is hard to survive. Oh, and it looks like they may even be able to take keep Mixcoat away. But VGS's balloon is up. Oh, and they they could get away with that. No good. Red Spire has spawned back in. They oh, appear to be the making their way over. Oh, balloon went down. This is so much stress. Are they going to make it up? No. And here comes the Spire. Things are looking so good. VGS loses their armor. They bring it back up before they take too much perma damage. You know what I'm impressed about? Spunk Monk has not lost any health still. There's another kill for the red team. Onto the blue spire. Come on, hit the watches. Okay. It looked pretty good on camera, but the score box isn't saying that a lot was destroyed there. And your audio problem is coming back. There goes an armor drop on the Mixcodal and the kill on the red team. Man. This feels really even, but uh, the score is pretty dramatic, so it's very interesting. Yes, the Clan Clan I now has a 4-1 lead over the Fancy Maynard Riders. Yeah, and it's the kind of game where there's so much firepower that I, I really do think that Blue still has a very good chance of bringing it back, because it only takes one awkward engagement, and then it's going to be 3-4. But, I mean, that's the thing. Like, even if they get a wipe... Red still has a respawn, and Blue does not have that luxury. So they've got to they've got to play a perfect game here, because they have to be good enough for the next fight too. Spots going out onto the Blue Spire and both Red ships. Yeah, and overall fantastic mining, especially from Mustache's ship, which is no surprise. Spunkbuck's mines are just oh, it's so horrible. And here we go. Okay. They have the center cover, and it looks like VGS is going to try and take advantage of it. Okay, red team getting aggressive. Oh no, Spunk Monk is bumped. Well, not bumped so much, but it looks like he hit a mine there. <laughs> Man, these fights are so tense. It looks like the Red Spire is going to get away. Again, that name. I'm just not even going to try. It's like he's getting away unharmed. And Spunk Monk is going to use this center building as cover. And it looks like he's hiding behind Mixcoat so that VGS can't hit him with the Watcha. Which is really clever. I love that. Oh, no. Drop and balloon drop on the Spunk Monk. Oh, oh, and he's on top of a building there. Building. This is not a fun place to not have a balloon. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, balloon drop also on the red spire. Uh, Spawn Clunk is missing all three of their engines and four of their guns. Armor and balloon drop oh. on red spire. Oh. That is so painful. Shots going in from VGS, not managing to kill them. Another armor drop on this on both red ships at this right now. And there's oh. the kill onto the red junker. Ow. Let's see, it's gonna be really hard for the spire to survive now. Although oh, okay. Hold on. They might make a getaway here. But they're just at such a disadvantage. Like And they still have a little bit of breathing room. If he gets away here, they can lose the next fight and, and get a wipe and still be in it. But, oh, yeah. Here the Artemis is coming to play. It looks like they're disabling engines so they can't get away here. Always a pain. Being said, all three engines are still alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Again, the strategy only works if you can hit it. Oh, and, and there's, there's the kill. So I guess we can, can now this. not die. Uh, they do have to get both kills to to win this match. Yeah, next wipe wins. Ugh. <laughs> My audio sounds fantastic again, right? That's somewhat taken care of. That matters. Yes. Awesome. Red team spawning in at the far west of the map. Of I course, don't... the far west is still pretty close on this map. Yeah, it's very... What is this map, like 2,000 meters total? Yeah. They're just over... Just over five, 600 meters away. Looks like red is splitting up. Nice. Okay, nope, never mind. <laughs> they're not splitting up. <laughs> Man, they're just going to make me feel so bad about myself. Like, oh, they're doing this strategy. Like, no, we're not. All four guns disabled on the red spire now. Can yeah, that's going to keep their armor up. Oh, and there's the drop. And a lot of heat. Oh, and they can take a lot of heat. There is fire. Okay. Monk is going in. Mines are out on VGA. Oh, okay. Well, uh, mines are destroyed. Watch on Spunk Monk disables all five guns as well as two. Oh engines. no! Did you see the the watcher from Red Team went out and mostly hit a building? Oh, that's gonna be really not fun. As with teams like this, a single missed, even half a missed watcher volley can mean the difference between winning and losing. But there's a watcher. Oh, sure that can. one hits. That was pretty mostly. nice. It didn't do a lot of damage, but it got everything it needed to, and it's giving Monk the opportunity to rise into position. If they can survive, uh oh, no, okay, well, if they can survive, doesn't matter. They and didn't. there's the fourth kill for the blue team. Uh, next kill wins. Oh, oh man. Watch him missing the Spunk Monk, doing a good job dodging that one. Yeah, they're going to have to really keep the enemy balloons down there, which I have a feeling is where these banshees are going to come into play, because they can shoot up really well. Oh, and they are on top. They do not want to lose their building on top of them. Okay, there we go. Mine hitting VGS doing a lot of damage. They are oh. without their balloon. Their armor is, is on fire. so close. VGS has to get away or it's going to be a problem. If Monk can hold on and live, then the other Spire can probably take out VGS. But they... Oh! I didn't wow. even really see what exactly happened. Yeah, there. did he get hit by a mine there? That was crazy. That was so That's good. Probably what happened. Anyways, uh, with that, Clan Clan beats Fancy Maynard Riders with a score of 5 to 4.